linguine a la vanglais. We use small manila clams. What you wanna do is submerge them in icy water, salted water, and let them set to expel any of their grit or impurities. And you wanna check around, knock them around, and then check around for any broken shells or any clams that are open. So now we're gonna take these guys, give them a look-see one more time. I like to put the clams into a hot pot with a little bit, and I mean a little bit, like a half a cup of simmering gentle boil water, close the pot and let the clams open. I find it's easier for most people to eat the linguine with clams if I collect the liquor and most of the meat of the clams in a bowl and just save a few clams that are open and have that like jazz hands effect to put up on top of the, of the bowl of pasta. So we're gonna put a tight lid on that pot and now I'm just gonna turn the heat up a bit. I just had it on medium low to bring that up to a simmer. Now I'm gonna turn the heat up a bit. It's a clear top on the pot. Give it a shake every couple of minutes and you're just letting these guys open and gathering, you're kind of harvesting all that great flavor, all the clam juice, essentially. So in this pan, we're gonna start the sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is melt anchovies into this. We'll grate or shave our garlic, like one bulb, five or six big cloves. So this is lemon zest from two lemons and then I have to them, we'll use their juice later. And a nice round spoonful, this is a teeny tiny little demi tasse kind of spoon, so I'm just gonna put a little more in. We're gonna add the chili flake or chili paste, the lemon zest, fresh thyme, and garlic. Mm. Now at this point, I've turned the heat down so the garlic won't singe. We're gonna let this get along. Huh. And then we're gonna add some white wine, about a cup, and let that reduce down at least by half. Our shells have opened. We're gonna pick through any unopened shells. We're gonna discard, and I'm going to separate the clams. The wine has reduced down a lot, so I'm gonna turn him way down now. I take the majority of the clams and their juice. I drop them into a bowl, and I have no problem with people making this with canned clams from the pantry. I've made delicious clam sauce from the pantry. Uh, but we're gonna just slide that in there. And that's why we wanna preserve all that flavor and that liquid. So we want that to be at the very lowest the stove can go so that that doesn't cook away. Now we're going to add a little lemon juice. Over here we have uh, rapidly boiling water. We're going to salt it very liberally because we use this water to marry the pasta and the sauce. Very important with any pasta dish. And I'm gonna drop 12 ounces of egg linguine. Egg pasta cooks very, very quickly. We are going to reserve that starchy, salty mm -hmm. cooking water. We drain the hot pasta a minute under, minimum a minute under its cook time. We're gonna add a little butter to our sauce to, as my mom used to say when I was a little girl, she likes to gloss the sauce. <laughs> so we're going to put the hot pasta back into the pot with a little of our magic starchy salty cooking water to make everything emulsify and come together. And we're going to add all of our sauce no. And then we're going to add most of our parsley. And now this is a little different and I love, love, and I hope you try this. The celery tops really bring out the, the lemon juice that we used in the, in the sauce and the white wine that we used. Honey, give me your bowl. I'm gonna feed you. I still have talking I have to do. Ooh-wee. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, look. And then we're gonna take some of the show clams, the jazz hands of the dish, and put them on top, okay? And then we just scatter a bit more of our greens around the dish. And there you go, kids. 